Okay ladies, so I'm going to show you in this video how I make a part or a natural part in my unit along with tweezing. So I'm using the Fructose Triple Nutrition and I got this huge bottle at Sam's Club. So I already went ahead just now and washed the wig off camera and I'm going to be applying some of this conditioner in the hair. I just co-washed the hair and that way just conditioning it and washing it will make parting a whole lot easier. So you want to make sure that you're distributing your conditioner throughly throughout the entire wig or unit or whatever you've made. I'm just going to take a couple more pumps because this is four bundles of hair along with the closure. I'm just going to make sure that's well throughly saturated into the hair. And once I have been done, once I'm done saturating the wig with conditioner, I'm going to take one of my paddle brushes and I'm going to brush that throughly, just making sure that every strand in this unit gets some conditioner in it. So I didn't use deep conditioner because I didn't color treat the hair or anything like that. So I just used normal conditioner. I like to lose either fructose, herbal essence, or dove, but you want to make sure that the hair is nice and wet and you want to just go ahead and put you some conditioner in there and just make sure that you're brushing it throughly throughout the entire hair. As well as that, make sure you go underneath the unit in the back area so that way you relieve any tangles and also to make sure that the conditioner is also penetrating the hair underneath. Now this is as much as came out or this is the shedding portion and now let's get on to the tweezing or rather the parting. So I like to use a rat tail comb. It's very important to use a rat tail comb because it will give you a precise part. Using a plastic handle rat tail comb will be a lot harder so I always suggest getting the metal ones because they are sharper. You get a better part with the metal ended rat tail combs. And so this is how I basically do it. I just go ahead and I kind of like curve my hand. And of course you will need to go back and forth because there'll be a little bit of hairs. And for me, I'm a perfectionist most of the time, especially when it comes to my part because I want it to look natural. So it will take me a few minutes to make a part in my wigs because I want it to just look perfect. I don't want any hair out of place. So like I said, using a metal rat tail comb is the best one to use, especially when parting the hair. And you want to just go ahead and perfect that along the way. As you can see, there's little hairs out, out of place, out of part. And just take your time and go through the actual part. Go over it just a few times over and over. And as you see here, there's a couple little hairs that were out of place. And I'm just pulling them up. And of course, my part wasn't the exact way I wanted it to. So that is the reason why I go over it like a few times because I like my curved part to be kind of curved but not too curved because you don't want any of your tracks to show after you have um, parted it. You know, it has a closure so you don't want to see the actual wefting track. So that is the reason for me going over it. And of course, the first time you do it, it will take quite a while. And as well as that, is it'll be kind of messy, so you will need to go over it. But just for a curved part, you just want to just go ahead and kind of like make a C in the unit. And then once you've done that, go ahead and brush the hairs one to the left side, to the right, just making sure that your part is laid to the gauze. And once you do that, you'll go ahead and you will actually place the unit in the water. And as you see right here, the part is thin, so of course I'm going to make it look a little bit more natural once I've rinsed out the conditioner. But like I said, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm going to go ahead. So I went ahead and I rinsed the conditioner out, and as you see, the hair kind of like was all over the place. Normally I will hold the hair in place as I'm rinsing, but as you see, I've already made the part, so all I have to do basically is just flip the hair over. When you make a part while the hair is wet, that will actually hold the part. Your part will stay in, it will not move, it will not leave. You will actually need to rewash the hair to actually get the part out of it. So if you ever want to change your part, you're going to have to rewash it and repart it and just do the same thing that I've done. So now I'm going to go ahead and brush the hair thoroughly. I've already went ahead once again and rinsed the conditioner off camera. And of course, 
as you can see she is basically almost ready i'm going to be using some of my cream of nature eden leave-in conditioner spray this stuff is like heaven so if you have a weave natural hair or a wig that's human hair i would highly suggest this it is their leave-in conditioner it leaves the hair smooth soft and just really really manageable so i love to use that on any type of texture hair so now, yes, my dears, it is time for some tweezing, and I just get my natural tweezers that I would just use for my eyebrows, but the best thing to do is to tweeze the hair while it's actually wet. Tweezing the hair while it's wet is a lot simpler than tweezing it while it's dry, and that is because the hair is wet, so it's kind of a little bit looser, which makes pulling and just separating a whole lot easier. So now you see the part is super thin, and of course, no one's natural part looks like this unless you've got a humongous, massive head of hair. But for me, my part is a little bit thicker or wider than this, so of course I want to make it to match my own natural part. I never like a paper-thin Part. it just looks very unnatural so all you need to do is just take your time you don't want to tweeze too much just go slowly at it and get yourself like a really good pair of tweezers of course you can get some tweezers from the dollar store they'll work just as well but they're not as good as just spending like at least five six bucks on a pair of tweezers the tweezers that I'm actually using are probably like seven years old I purchased them from Walgreens they was like 12 bucks and they're stainless steel I love these tweezers. I apply my lashes with them and I also tweeze the hair with them. And they actually are really good tweezers. It all depends on the actual grip of the tweezers and the ends. So this one here is a really good pair of tweezers. So I would highly suggest getting yourself a really good pair of tweezers. Now you do see how that part is getting a little bit wider, more natural looking. But the most important part is tweezing the hair while it's wet. It'll make the whole entire job so 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 much easier and yeah a couple little hairs were out of place and what I'll do is I'll just go ahead back in with my rat tail comb and I'll just continue to tweeze now you guys are probably like well what if you want to change the part is that going to destroy the wig because you tweezed the part in it of course not all I need to do is brush this part out and create me a new part and if I want to tweeze that new part then I can go ahead and do so so then maybe I'll have a curved right part and a curved left part and also a middle part either way you can always tweeze it. You don't have to make it super duper wide, but make it look natural. But most importantly, make sure that you're tweezing it while the hair is wet. That way you get a really good tweeze and a really good part. And plus it makes the whole entire job a lot easier. So I hope you girls enjoyed this video to see how I made my part and tweeze.